Hi, I'm Cahill Hughes and today we're going to be feeder fishing for roach and big hybrids on the beautiful Loch Erne. We're fishing today for hybrids and big roach, so the mix is going to reflect that. I'm using gross gardons, brown crumb, and really to darken it a bit in the war. Want the mix to be mixed fairly damp so not a whole lot of stuff comes off it. Where I'm fishing is going to be 18 foot deep, so with hybrids in mind, I don't really want a huge amount of particles coming off. I want to keep them on the bottom. Feeders I'm going to use are going to do that as well for me, but I'm going to start by mixing a bag of gross gardon. Half a bag of Sense's brown crumb, which is really good brown crumb. It's quality crumb. It's kind of roasted, so in goes that. This is for food content, really. I'm only going to put in about half a bag of that. And to darken it, I'm going to put in a half a bag in war. So I'm going to give that a good mix. And Gonna mix that about an hour, an hour and a half before I actually want to fish, so it's given good time to absorb the water and be pretty much dead. I won't be feeding a huge amount of it because I'll be using the rapid feeders, so I'll only be plugging the end of it, so there's enough there to last me well over a day. talk you through my setup. Um, starting at my side tray. It's a matchcraft side tray. I can open and close it depending on the weather. So my bait is always protected, which is important. You, the last thing you want is your ground bait to be getting all wet and that. So this is essential really bit of kit for coming to Ireland. Tense terrain here every now and again. Um, moving around. Good solid feeder arm that comes off the leg of my box. And I have the Guru Roach Reaper there. Really strong, solid rest that can move my feeder rod alongside of it. Plus the end of it here you can see, when you get them savage bites from hybrids, rods ain't going to get pulled in. So, feeder arm, very important. A lot of the places you fish, here not so much, but a lot of places you fish, it's difficult to, to, difficult to get a bank stick in. So that's really it. There's, there's nothing special about the kit, but they're just little bits and pieces that will make your life a little that much more simple when you come over here. So just to run you through the terminal tackle I'm using. Reel wise, you want a 400 or 4000 or 5000 size reel. You need a good reel, good solid reel for winding in feeders up to 70 gram. Puts a lot of pressure in a reel and if you don't have a good reel here, it won't last too, too long. Rod wise, I like a 12 foot rod. It's a good all round size rod. You're chucking generally up to 60 meters will be as far as you really need to go, but you need a rod that can cast that distance. A bit of backbone, fishing into a wind, I'm using the 12-13 Airty feeder rod, ideal for this crack. Shock leaders, or go back to the reel again, I use 0.12, up here I use 0.12 Tournament Evo braid. It's a good, strong, robust braid, but it's also super smooth, which aids in casting. To that I tie two, two rod lengths of eight to 10 pound shock leader. And to that obviously with Pat and Oster, and then hook lengths. You're going to be surprised at this, but your hook lengths are all between 0.18 and 0.22. And so you want a very reasonably thick hook length line. It slows down the fall of the bait. Slower actually than a lighter hook length. Plus your, these hybrids, they're not line shy. And when you hook them, you just want to be able to get them in fast, especially in match conditions. Um, hooks, ever reliable, Guru LWGFs, super sharp hook. They do everything for me. You don't lose fish. Once you get a fish on them, you don't lose them. So I stick to a pattern I have confidence in. Um, bait wise, 
like when you're over here, it's very simple. You have your, your worms. You can't come fishing, can't come fishing in the Ireland or anywhere in Ireland without worms. You need to bring a kilo of worm a day, really. Red worm. Then you have obviously your maggots, your caster, bit of sweet corn. Don't use a lot of sweet corn on the hook, but it gives you a change of bait every now and again. I do like to chop a bit of sweet corn and mix it into my caster and worm mix that I'm feeding through the feeder all the time. Just gives me a change of hook bait. That's it really. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, but when you're fi hybrid fishing and that, the, what I can't get across enough is to keep busy. If you're not busy, you'll stop catching. Earlier in the session today, we stopped to take a few photographs and that. The hybrid's left. It took us another 20 minutes to get our next hybrid from catching a hybrid of chuck. When you stop feeding on them, they leave. Now we're here by ourselves. Like imagine the anglers each side of you. They'll take your fish. So my advice to you is keep the feed going in. I, in match conditions, I use a, a stopwatch. I have one there. Generally, three minute casts. And you'll find with hybrids that after the feeder hitting the deck, you'll get your bites reasonably fast. Within the next 30 seconds, that's the killer time. Just as your hook bait's falling, that's when the tip will go around. So we've had a brilliant day today. It's been absolutely, it's been better than we thought we would. We're in October here. We must have 40, 50 pound of hybrids in a couple of hours. It's, it has been pretty solid. We haven't pre-baited. We've just come here, been advised to go to a certain spot and it's been very, very good. It's typical urn Irish hybrid fishing. You can't get more typical than this. But again, as I say, we had to keep busy. Even though we're here by ourselves, we had to keep working to keep the fish coming. So I'm on my last cast. Hopefully the tip will go around. Then we're going to release the fish and head for a good steak, I think. We've, we've earned it today. <laughs>